Welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about call by reference and how it differs from call by value. So we have implemented functions by now and we have sent variables as parameters to functions. Now, what happens if we send a variable as a parameter to a function? We actually using call by value. So we are making a copy of that variable value but the difference with call by reference is is not that we make a copy of that value is that we sending a address to the function as a parameter and now that differs is call by value is making a copy of the value but call by reference is we're making a copy of the address so we do not duplicate the variable value and this helps us to do certain things such as by working with a variable directly in another function so we can work directly with a local variable in the main if we send the address of that variable to a different function so we can work directly with variables we already also used call by reference when we send variables such as arrays to a function the reason why we use call by reference when we send a array variable to a function is because for this specific reason let's say for instance the variable is of size 100 we do not want to make a duplicate of that array and create 100 duplicate values and put it in another array that will be very memory inefficient so actually when we send an array to a function we are working directly with the array that was declared in the main function and that is call by reference so let's do two functions to determine the uh, square of a value the one function will do it by using call by value and the other function will do it by using call by reference and we will see what's the difference in the two functions. So let's jump into the programming. So first of all we create a new empty file and we save this to our desktop and we start hash include stdio.h int main void return zero and we save this and we build and run and we make sure that everything works perfectly it compiled and it ran press any key to continue so now we know that the program is working our template it's good we can continue so we're going to do two functions the one function will be our call by value function and the other one will be our call by reference function and both of these functions will determine the square of a value so let's start we will firstly do a three basic normal function so we will say square call by value and we will send a variable to this function so this is our function prototypes and in the next function this will will be our square call by reference now in the square call by reference what we will do is we're not going to return any value we're going to work with the variable directly and store the square in that variable directly so how would we do this so we can say square call by reference and we will send now a pointer as a parameter to this function and we will say int and how do we declare pointers again? We say s star in pointer. So now we are sending a 
address to this function and we are storing it inside a pointer great so let's continue here and we say int a is equal to 2 now what we want to do is we want to use a printf statement and let's create another variable called answer and first off what we will do is we will say answer is equal to because now the first function the square call by value function will return a value to us so we will call the square call by value function oops square call by value and what do we send to square call by value function we send the variable a and then we will print out the answer so we will say square of a is or the square of 2 2 is percentage d the answer great so now we have the answer and now what we can do is by using call by reference we can send a variable address to the function and the function will work with that specific value and manipulate and then store a new value in that value, that specific um, variable so how do we do this let's first of all say um, answer becomes zero again okay but we want to make answer actually a so answer now was the answer here after the square call by value was done we displayed answer now we give answer again a new value say a so what we can do is let's do this percentage percentage d and we say a and answer so answer becomes now a great and now what we will do is before we do the printf statement we will call now the square call by reference sorry that one square call by reference and what we will do is we will send answer to the square call by reference function but we do not want to send the value of answer we want to send the address of answer are you with me so we're sending the address of answer to the square call by reference function it will be stored inside this in pointer variable and then we can work directly with answer and then after that we can say square of percentage d is percentage d a and answer so we're not returning any value and then set it equal to this answer in for the, in in the same way that we do with call by value we're not returning a value so we're working directly with answer now so let's go and implement these two functions and see what's the difference between doing call by value and call by reference so i'm going to copy these two function prototypes and i'm going to put them down below here for each one of them to create a function great so first of all square call by value this is easy we have already done this in previous videos so square call by value is we just return the value of n times n and that's easy it's easy as that what we can also do is we could have said n oops n is equal to n times n and we can just return n it's going to be the same thing so we are overwriting n 
to be this square now. But how do we do this with core by reference? Hmm. So now we need to think. We are sending the address of answer to this square call by reference function and it's stored inside NPTR. So NPTR will be the address. Now we want to work with the value inside or at that address. And to get to that value of that address, we need to dereference. So we say NPTR star. So that's dereference NPTR. So NPTR is the address of answer. And now we go from the address to the value. And we say NPTR is equal to NPTR times, don't get confused with the stars, this star is now for multiplication, times dereference NPTR. Okay, so we can make both of these functions only one liner, go back to the old one. So here we return a value n times n. We're returning that value. Here we're actually working with that same answer value that was declared inside our main function. So let's see what happens and if I'm correct. So if I build and run this project, hopefully we don't get any build errors. It seems to me there's maybe some problem here. Oh, no, there's no problem. If we go up here, we say the square of two is four and the square of two is four. So let's just add some new lines here just to make it nice and neat so that you can see what's going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repeat this just for, for interest sake. Okay, just for interest sake, just so that we can see that I'm not fooling you. So the first one, the square of A, and A is 2, will be answer. And answer will get a value from the square call by value. Okay? And the next one here, I change answer to A. So what I'm going to do is A is, I'm going to say A is equal to this, and ans is equal to that so that we can see what is a and ons before I do the call by reference so that we make sure that I'm not just using the call by value answer again so let's build and run this baby and see what happens okay great stuff let's go up bring it here okay so the first one call by reference is the square of two is four. That works perfectly. And we know that method already. Then we have A is equal to two and answer is equal to two. So we know that answer is now two. Then we do the square call by reference function. And we send the address of answer to the function. Now we send the address of answer and it's grabbed by the pointer variable in pointer. And then we work directly with answer by using in pointer and we use in pointer and we say dereference in pointer to get to the value is equal to the dereference in pointer multiplied with the dereference in pointer again. And then we change the actual value of answer that was declared in the main function. And then we see square of two is four. So it works. Now, just a disclaimer. When we talked about local and global variables, I said, if you declare a local variable, for instance, A or an answer, it's local to main. You cannot work with that variable in another function because it's not local to that function. So only main, the main function, can see A and answer, the two variables that I declared there. It's local to main. If A and answer was global, all the functions would have been able to see these two variables. But now for this instance, it's local to main. And 
square core value cannot see it okay square core value cannot see it that's why we're sending the value of a to a new variable called n so we're making a duplicate of that variable a so square core by value is not working with a or answer it's got its own variable called n and it's just returning the answer so square core by value cannot work with the local variables declared inside the main function but if you send the address of a local variable to another function by using call by reference you can in fact change the values of the variable that is local to another function so a function can actually work with another function's local variables but only in the case when we use the call by reference method okay so that is call by reference and call by value the difference between the two and you can also see that square call by reference has a in pointer variable and it's not making another variable to return okay so we can also assume that call by reference will be more memory efficient so if memory is a problem for instance in the case of microcontrollers with limited memory space call by reference is much better to implement than call by value because it's more memory efficient and you're working with variables directly but if you're working with memory or variables directly and you override that variable you cannot get the previous value back again so you also need to make sure that you do not override variables and values that you want to use in the future okay great ladies and gents thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon